Well, high-profile Queensland trainer driver Shane Graham made a rare visit to Club Menangle today, but will be going home on a winning note for in the very impressive win in the opening event of Agent Black, and I caught up with Shane following the race. And the horse in question, Shane, Agent Black, owned by a member of the board here, Mr Daniel Cordina, who you've had a lot of success with, including last Saturday night, Scarlet Bay. Yeah, I suppose I could say he's the best owner at the moment, can't I? So his last two have been winners, and um, hopefully there's many more to come. So you looked like you had plenty in hand? Yeah, I think so. He, um, Like all of them, they're still learning, and he, uh, in all his trials, he's been chasing the paces. So he was a bit lost out in front there, but he run through the line still well. Probably have a look at your career, Shane. Turn it up. Jeez, it's going great guns for you. Yeah, he's a marvellous old horse. He um, just sort of every season just keeps backing up, and he was terrific last week. So hopefully if he just stays sound, you know, he's still got plenty more in him. Third generation, you started out the usual way for most via the Mini Trotters. Yeah, that's right. We, um, My sister and I, we started the Minis when we were probably, you know, as soon as we could and went through till we were too old. And, you know, I went into the big horses and Tanya stopped at the ponies. But, um, yeah, like all of us, we start there. Your grandfather, Tom, a wonderful horseman. And then along comes your dad, Wayne, and certainly he's gone to another level as far as that is concerned. He's widely recognised as being an outstanding horseman. So it was just a natural progression as far as you being involved in harness racing? Yeah, that's right. Like, um, my grandfather, he done it. And then dad. Dad was more into breaking in the babies when I was younger, and that was probably a good grounding for me, like, you know, learning on all the babies. There's no real race stock there. So we done a lot of, a lot of hours with the babies, and... Then once I started driving, Dad slowly got more of the race team together and now he's uh, less braking and more racehorses. Shane, your career started to take off 2015 when you won the JD Watts Trophy for 259 winners, just an outstanding season. Yeah, that's right. It was, um, you know, there was a lot of lot of hours put in, and but it was good to win that and, you know, I can say I've done it once. You've been a regular as far as the representing Queensland is concerned, the young drivers then progressing in the Australian Championships. But when you were selected to represent Australia, what a wonderful achievement. What was your initial response? Yeah, I sort of, you know, I was probably in a bit of shock. You sort of always would love to rep represent your country. And when I got the chance, you know, and to go to Canada, and yeah, it was a terrific experience that I'll never forget. That was 2017. Following in the footsteps, 1976, Keith Addison, one of Queensland's greats. Yeah, that's right. You know, like, um, it would have been probably better. I think Keith might have won it even, but uh, I'd run down the track. But, um, no, nah, still, it was a great experience. And that learning experience, missing it with the best, you were, were no doubt able to take away a great deal from those? Yeah, that's right. You know, like, um, some of them couldn't speak real English. It was, it was a bit hard. But, um, yeah, like, you are with the best drivers from every country and, you know, you definitely, um, you can't sort of get that experience. Shane, was there one driver in particular that you left that particular series and just admired him even more? Yeah, I'd say Beyond Goop. He, um, you know, he's a legend in his country and he, uh, he, the horses just run for him and talking, just even training, he's a great trainer and that and, you know, sort of come friends with him and to this day, you know, you still hear from him and that, so... I learned, learned a lot of him and, you know, he's still only not far away. You make a phone call if you've got any questions. So you've been in the top bracket of Queensland trainer drivers now for a decade or more. How many horses do you have in work? And no doubt a lot of hard work goes into that. Yeah, that's right. We've um, just been poking along, sort of trying to keep the numbers. We've got around the 20 to 25 mark and um, sort of getting a nice little Saturday night team there. So um, a few babies this year. So that'll be, you know, we've probably haven't had the babies before but um so we'll see how we go and over your career Shane no doubt you've had some many wonderful horses pass through those hands which ones are your favorites um yeah like sort of when I was young I was very fortunate I was sort of in my late teens um to drive a couple for dad Sparkle Melody and um Yahoo Buckaroo they won group ones so they were sort of early in my career that helped and then as it went on, um, I teamed up with Avon Over and he won Newcastle Mile and for Ian Gurney, you know, he was sort of a real good old, you know, probably didn't have the the, um, the class of the real good ones, but he was just a war horse, you know, and he, um, I got to travel around a lot with him, so he, he done a big job for me and um, with Sharky, I was fortunate enough to drive him, he was a superstar and in now in the later times turn it up, so... <clears throat> I've been very fortunate to drive sort of 
quite a lot of handy horses, so it's been great. Yeah, Shane, to be able to maintain your position at the top of the ladder is no mean feat when you consider you're up against the likes of Grant Dixon, Sean Tell and Pete McMullen. It's, it's just an overflow of talent. Yeah, that's right. Like, um, Queensland's real, you know, it's hard racing and um, trainers and drivers, I think, you know, are improving. So it's, um, it's hard going, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a good challenge. No doubt looking forward to the Inter-Dominion? Yeah, it'll be great, you know, in our home state and just hopefully can be a part of it. We spoke about your father, Wayne. What a career he's had, uh, Shane. And it all started as a 14-year-old. Yeah, yeah. He's been around for a long time and um, he's uh, still got a pretty big team in work, so he's um, not slowing down. Yeah, he's won over 1,500 races as a trainer. He fell just short of the 200 as a driver. So he's been able to mix both, but certainly the strong point has been his training. Yeah, that's right. He... Um, I was sort of fortunate when I started driving, he sort of gave up the driving and I got to yeah, pretty much choose which ones I drove. So um, he took a back seat there and um, yeah, it worked out well and I still get to drive for him now and you know, still drive some bad, some good and keep things going. Of course, you're no stranger to APG Racing, which was the first event on today's card. Park Light won the Group 1 here, which was the first for your dad, two-year-old Phillies event here at headquarters 2016. Yeah, that's right. That was um, that was a big thrill. Um, Dad was sort of humming and harring whether to bring it down, and I talked him into coming, and he come down, Mum and him for the trip, and had a couple of weeks off, and was fortunate enough to win it. And she was a super little filly. Um, probably didn't go on just through injury, but um, yeah. So today was the first with the trotter. I haven't really had any baby trotters before, but hopefully we can do it again. Your sister still remains very active as far as harness racing is concerned, but over in WA, a very important member of the Garrards team. Yeah, that's right. Tanya runs a store over there at Gloucester Park, and even though she probably, you know, she'd like to be a bit more hands-on with the horses, she can't, but she's um, still flat out with the business. Well, the Graham name's certainly going to be come to the fore at Albion Park on Saturday night with most of the races featuring yourself and your father, Wayne. Can you leave us with a winner or two? Um... Probably Scarlet Babe, she's sort of, she's racing terrific. Um, she's going to be hard to beat from a bad draw and Dad's got a horse up there, Dazzle Me. Um, he's racing very well, so I think he's got a good trail and draw, so he should be hard to beat too. Well, Shane, congratulations. Thanks for sticking around. I know you're keen to head back off to uh, Queensland, so thanks for your time and good luck and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. No worries. Thanks, mate.